thank you so much Ruth for a great introduction. Um, I don't think I need to introduce myself any further uh, because Ruth has done that. I, I just want to thank you all for, you know, taking time to listen to my story and for Gertrude really for believing in me and giving me this opportunity um, to be able to come before you and just share with you my story. Um, one of the stories that I would want to share with you uh, starts from when I was young. And maybe that also inspired the birth of Charakadenga, uh, one of the online magazines that you heard about from Ruth. So when I was 11 years old, um, living with my mom and dad in a small little town in, in Norton, um, here in Zimbabwe, we, we always had life going on for us. And um, yeah, we enjoyed, and I was just 11 years. So you can imagine, I didn't know anything else besides what I saw you know, in my parents. But one event in our lives really changed the course of our lives totally. When um, my parents divorced, I have a vivid picture of my mom standing on the other side of um, our, our, our house, outside of the gate with her belongings, standing right, right there beside her. And um, I knew that you know, life wasn't going to be the same again. So it was a really challenging season for me. And I can also believe for her, it was really difficult because she literally had grown to be this woman who had raised us in this house and had worked so hard to build this beautiful house for us. And suddenly everything was just lost in a moment. And so during that season of um, trying to find a space, I also was in a season where I tried to find out what really had happened to my parents for them to get to that space where they couldn't stand being with each other anymore. And so the next couple of years, I, I remember I, I told myself that I wasn't going to get married at all because I didn't, I, I didn't really understand why my dad would probably put off my mom, you know, and settle with another woman. And, you know, and for him, I, I thought, you know, life really went on for him. It, it didn't seem like um, his life had come to a standstill. So it was um, a really challenging season for me. And so, you know, as I grew up and I grew older, I then realized that the, the label that I had given to my dad and other men out there in the world that um, like we, they are referred to here in Zimbabwe that men are dogs, you know, was a lie that I had grown to believe. But unfortunately that lie had actually started uh, creating a, a, a hard heart, I, I should say. You know, I, I had become numb to love, I had become numb to trust because of that one incident. And not just that one, but also the incidents that I had seen in society, other women going through the same pain that my mom had gone through. So yeah, it was quite um, a lot for me to handle. But I, as I said, I grew up and I found the love of my life. And I realized that the, the picture that I had, that all oh, men with dogs was a lie. That one incident that happened or that one uh, event that happened in my life when I was young, yes, it, it really did something to my heart, but it wasn't a truth that I was supposed to hold on to forever. And so I went on a journey to search for truth and for God to really begin to heal me from what I, I had thought was the reality that, you know, all men were not to be trusted. You know, no matter what you do, you know, they can just throw you out for, no, for nothing. And I didn't understand because I was really young. But as I, as I began to search for, for truth and just for healing, I realized that I had to be healed for my marriage to work, for me to be able to take care of my kids, for me to be living a fulfilled life. Like um, Ruth said that beauty inside out. I, I was looking okay outside. I would put on my makeup. I would put on the best dress that I had. But inside I was broken because I was going through a lot in my life because of what I'd experienced when I was growing up. So I needed something more, something better, you know, just to live a fulfilled life, a happy life. 
a life that I know that I've been called to live that I wasn't living. And so I, I am grateful that I had people around me from my church that were able to walk with me and just tell me the truths of God and the word of God. And that really helped me in my healing journey. And I opened up my heart to God and say, Lord, I know that I have been hurting and I was hurt, but this is the time that my life has to change. I can't live a miserable life. I can't be depressed all the time and be a mom, a loving mom and a beautiful wife to my husband. I can't do that when I'm carrying all that baggage. So the moment that I, I did open my heart to him, I began to, so, to see um, great healing coming through to my life. And such a, a peace that I had and such a, a loving spirit that I had that I'd never experienced before. And I was, I was really impressed with um, what God has just, had just begun to do in my life because I, I was living in a space where I was a bitter woman. I was an angry woman. I was uh, a contentious woman. I would be irritated by the simplest thing that you can ever think of. But just me um, being in that space where I'd experienced that life and, be, and being able to experience this life, this better life that I was living now, really made me realize that true beauty really isn't outside in, it is inside out. No matter how beautiful a person looks outside, if they are hurting and they're broken, you know, that all is, is vain. And so I went on a journey to, to launch Sharagadenga, which then helps women to understand that true beauty is really from the inside out. Here in Zimbabwe, we have a lot of women and also I have family and friends that I know that have gone all out to change their skin tone, to change the way they look outside because they want to impress the world or they want to look like somebody else. But that is not fulfilling. You know, it's like living someone else's life. So my, my call and my desire really is to see women living as, as they are called to live, living a life of, from, you know, from beauty that is um, really from the inside and out. So yeah, my, that has been my journey. And um, I, I, I'm thankful that I, at least I have this opportunity to be able to share with you beautiful women um, what I've gone through and what I, I intend also to see in our nation and even beyond. Yeah.